bones. Walking bones. This bow is as good as flame-proof. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. Your feet, you run too fast for the likes of me. Find out what's inside. We have to retreat then. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. Right you are. Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but who could have guessed that so many who were once arisen yet live? Their wisdom and powers are hardly surprising when one considers that they were once arisen. Power surges within me! Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. Many have tried, and as you can plainly see, all have failed. I would abandon any such fool ideas if I were you. After all... That which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. I trust I have your attention? If so, take your place and we shall begin. Your resolve is come. The fool beholds a sage in the mirror. The sage a fool. Which is it you see, I wonder? Our eyes are our allies. Yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do lead astray. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door, and retrieve that which is of greatest value. I should very much like to rejoin you, Master.
come to test your wits. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which is of greatest value. So, this is your choice? The greatest worth your eyes descried? Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes see true. No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest and take this file too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. Outstanding! Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to man. So bring forth your most beloved to me. That I is this your most beloved you bring before me? Well, well. Very good. Not half bad. Yet only one you bring. I thought you capable of more. A promise made, a promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. It is not what I expected. Come to test your wit. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent, such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. Hoping I can find myself. Should your pack grow over full, have no fear. I'll like in your. We'll see each other again. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. Are we to remain here? Come to test your wits. The parent knows I am a lost child. So bring to me my parent, 
that I might... And you claim this to be the parent I seek? Indeed, you are correct. All is you have proven your wits, and so I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest at your leisure. A result to be proud of. Come to test your wits. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize, and thence elude your ponderous demise. So, this is your prized possession, a most revealing choice. Do you consent to give it to me, knowing that it may never be returned? Well, well. Very good. That's the spirit. Such generosity deserves a reward, methinks. Why don't you take a peek in your chest? Come to test your wits. Is ever the first we keep fond in our breast and ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the Seeker's tokens, I trust. Those keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps, if you can. You might make a new discovery. Seven days, shall we say, ere you return? May your journey be a pleasant one. Come to test your wits. Seeker's tokens are treasure. Yet where was it that- Ah, I see I needn't have worried. Well sought and well found. I trust it was a pleasant jaunt. As pro- Five riddles have I posed, and five answers have you given. Perhaps you expected more, but I'm afraid that's that. Our next game shall have to take a different tack. Though constant this world may seem, in truth all is in flux. And so the time has come for me to fly. If you are not yet satisfied, seek me at my new abode. But for now, I bid you farewell, dogged adventurer.
Well, so dearly did you love our game that you have sought me out again. Let us resume at once. I too have grown rather engrossed. Easily the mind unravels. Some say it's pain that does it best, others darkness. But I say neither. Rather, I say a mind cannot be more soundly broken than when it beholds its earnest efforts laid low in a single stroke. Could you survive such despair? We shall see. Here, I have an amphora destined for Sir Moritz in Batal. Deliver it to him, but beware. It's rather fragile. I do hope your struggle will amuse. I should... Very much like to rejoin you, Master. It is said that answering the Sphinx's riddles, should the day come that you seek to challenge the beast, you... seem to have arrived without issue. But are we safe here? What in the world were you thinking, bringing me to such a place? Hold a moment. That vase. It cannot be. For generations now, my family has been charged with a duty to seek out this amphora. To think that it was hidden here, of all places. Is that why you brought me here? So that I might claim it? Oh, joyous day! At long last, our vigil is at an end. Well, very good. Well, well. The amphora has been delivered intact. I'd not thought you had it in you. Though I'd hoped to savor your dismay, you shall have your prize all the same. Outstanding!
So vast is this world and full of life. You are but one of many, indeed. In the grand scheme, we are as distinct from one another as pebbles on a beach. Yet we do so love to extol our differences. But are these differences so great? If you believe so, this next task should prove exceedingly simple. I seek this man. If men are so distinct, I'm sure you'll find him in a trice. to move its rest. I suppose I could use a moment to catch my breath. So vast is this world, and full of life, indeed. But are these differences so great? If you... Is this the man I sought? Truly? You are satisfied with your answer? Then I shall weigh its merit. a human from the faceless swarm is no less a challenge than to seek a single grain of sand on the Alta Batal coast. Yet pluck you have, and for that I congratulate you. Another prize is yours for the taking. Outstanding! Now, questions beget questions, and I have one for you. How many riddles have you solved thus far? My memory fails me, you see. Remind me, and make it plain. Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before me. Ugh! <sighs> 
Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered... This is your answer. Are you sure of your count? My, that's quite a number. And the correct one, no less. I see you're keeping track. Of course, your erudition shan't go unrewarded. That was certainly worthwhile. Though ours is a battle of wits, tests of metal are more to your strength. Is that not so? Come, try your arm. Though he shall be your opponent, not I. However, I am not one to be amused by a simple duel. Bear this ring into battle, that I might gauge your true strength. I'll admit, I did worry you'd forgotten me. Good show. You have more than earned your reward. Another chest is yours to claim. And with that, our game comes to an end. As amusing as it has been, I shall now take my leave of you to await the next courageous soul who would test their wits against mine. Well, you are a persistent one. Did my prizes fail to satisfy? Truly, the greed is boundless. But soon you will learn. Those who live by their greed tend to die by it. Though, it is a pity. I had taken rather a liking to you. It will bring me no pleasure to spill your blood. But nor can I ignore so bold a challenge. I don't like this. We are already hard pressed from our previous engagement. Impressive, I must say. I almost hope that you and I shall meet again. It has been long indeed since I was last so entertained. I admire your dedication, Master. It is no small... That was certainly worthwhile. We have done what we set out to do, and that is well enough. It is vital that we rest and regain our strength before moving on. On. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect...
Was I lacking? Function? We're done for. <laughs> have known I'd never amount to anything. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the light of me. Let us endeavor to keep up. We are less fleet of foot.